So, for the past uh, few days since Friday, I've been in the hospital. Um, something was wrong with the pump. Uh, we got it all worked out. I'm doing better. I'm out. I'm free. Uh, but I, I, I wanted to talk about two things. So, first, in case you're watching and you didn't know, I'm on a big Yiddish program. Um, I've been studying Yiddish for the past three weeks uh, very intensely, and it's been going very well. It's a lot of fun, great people, so on and so forth. So, that is a um, precursor, I suppose. So, in my room, uh, it was myself and an older <clears throat> An older gentleman, he, um, he 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 was a lot worse off than I was. He had the shakes, couldn't talk very well. Um, by the time I left, he was able to walk around on his own. He was getting a lot better. But the reason I'm talking about him is because every day that I was there, he had a ton of family coming in. Obviously, he was like the patriarch of of his uh, you know of his family and his daughter and wife came in every day, his nephew came in every day, um, they helped him out, they gave him a shave, they um, massaged his hands and feet, and it was just really kind of incredible. They didn't always talk to him, and at one point, um, you know, they just, they had the TV on, I had my TV on, and they were just sitting and being together and I was wondering about that because like my my brother came in to uh, to visit me while I was there which was unbelievably nice of him um, and like you know we didn't hold a conversation the entire time he was there but like it's not really necessary it's um, it's a respect thing you go and you visit someone and you just spend time with them, and it's really nice. Um, and thank you for that. I really appreciate it. And um, it's just, it's a really, it's a really kind gesture. You don't always have to have something to say, but that kindness, that that level of respect, makes me think of another gentleman who was in the hospital who I met. His name was Motel, and he speaks Yiddish. He spoke Yiddish and Russian and a little Hebrew and no English. And um, he saw my kippa at one point and asked if I was a Yid. And I, uh, I guess he heard me talking about my Yiddish program with one of the nurses. And he asked if I speak Yiddish, if I sp speak Yiddish. And I, I told him I do. And we ended up talking for a couple of hours. And I like showed him some magic tricks. And he uh, told me about his family a little bit, what he used to do. He was um, an officer in the Russian army, which is really cool. But it just, it's its a whole other level of respect when you can speak someone's language. And it, it takes on a whole different connotation when that language is a language like Yiddish, which is dying out and endangered. And there's a certain level of respect that's, that's given to speaking that language because so many people have specifically chosen to walk away from it and to stop speaking it and it's such a huge part of that generation's Jewish identity um, if you know if, if you're a Jew and you came from Europe you spoke Yiddish and that was hugely important and um, talking with Muttel was really really enlightening. He spoke a Russian dialect, um, and it was just, it was, it was unbelievable. Um, at, at one point he was, he was telling jokes, and uh, we were just, I, I don't know, it was, it was something that I had never really done before, and it was pretty amazing, and it really made me realize that what I'm doing with Yiddish is, um, is the right thing to be doing with the language. So, um, finally made it out of the hospital after that. Um, Muttel and I actually left within like 30 minutes of each other, so we were saying Zeitgesund all the way out the door. And um, 
I just wanted to share those uh, those thoughts. So, um, thanks to my brother for coming out to visit, making the hospital stay a lot easier, and here's hoping that we won't need another one. So, happy 4th. There's still a Yiddish video coming. I know I'm not doing it, and it's because I'm so insanely busy with this program, but um, here's hoping. I'll see you all soon. Until next time.